viewers and appreciate you watching. Today, Mr. Wilbert and I are headed out to Witchfield to recover a international combine that's rear axle has broken and somehow or another he's ran off down in the woods. We're not sure how, how bad it is. There's some pretty deep ravines out in Wedgeville. Uh, Mr. Wilbert's in our KW V100 wrecker and I'm behind him in the work truck. We'll get on scene here in just a minute. Hopefully at least get him out to a safe location. Most of those big combines are hydrostatic. Not sure what kind of damage and all is done to it. So we'll know more once we get out there and get on the scene and we'll go from there. But uh, we'll see, be right back with you here shortly. Hey Hen, I'm about to call you. I'm about to call you back in a little bit, okay? All right, yeah. All right. Viewers, our plan here is to boom out over the rear of the combine to lift it so we can try to find a good solid hook point so we can wheel lift it and get it out of the road. Put a chain on it or a strap? Chain, probably. Oh, I was thinking. Your blue one, yeah. Oh, yeah. He said he can't run yeah. Up. Is there a better place now? Blue is around the front. What y'all think? You want to pick it up? We're going to pick it up by that hook for <laughs> see what it'll do. I mean, we can pick it up. The weight ain't the issue, it's not tearing nothing up. That's what I'm scared of. I don't think it can get any worse than a broken axle, to yeah. be honest. Right now, there's no damage to the front end, so let's keep it that way. <laughs> that should be plenty right there, man. There you go. I'm about to clear. I'm about to clear his. Yeah. See what I was talking about, Mr. Yeah. 
uh, we can go to that frame right in front of it, Mr. Howe. Frame, put the wheel lift, block it up. And yep, yeah, put the wheel lift all up under here. Right, and, and, and chain it. Chain it and swing it. Yeah. Well. Going down the road ain't gonna work like that. Uh, where's your blocks at? Hang in that box now. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I'll put these two blocks on top of this on that get your big block. Yeah. I'm thinking about grabbing it right here, Mr. Hawkins. You see what I'm talking about? Feel like it's pretty, pretty solid frame right there. That there, that's what that is. Grab it right there. Uh -huh. Park it right there. It ain't much weight other than the motor. Yeah, that's all it is. It's pretty light. Would the frame chain slip in there? You know, hold. Yeah. Right there. It, it, it fit right there. On a cup it. I can't believe that thing broke like that. Oh, it was repaired before. Yeah. I. That's a well that was repaired before. That's why it broke again. Yeah. Is it touching it? it? It's all the way down. It ain't. It. Nah, but it's it's up. Okay. I can put another block on it. It'll be cost. Okay. So you want to? Right, so you got to get. So I got to get this way, or yeah, get try to get at an angle like this here. What do you want to do? He don't want us to put it in that road because of uh, the log, log truck. trucks coming up. All right. What about that opening right up there we had up there? Where are we smoking? Huh? Where are we smoking? What's smoking? Why are we smoking? Right Something smoking? Yep. Yeah. Why are we smoking? What is it? Something electrical there? Light? Appreciate that. Yeah, they're gonna be tilted up. Yeah, uh, get out of the way. Yep. You gonna go down and come back? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh,
ok? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh. What do you think? Y'all already took it out with a roll? It's rolling right now. Alright. You gonna go ahead and let the traffic go? Let the traffic go. Yeah. It was rolling. What y'all think it's gonna roll pretty good? Oh, it is. Uh huh. What does he gotta do? Look right here. See this spline coupling. We take that coupling out. Oh yeah, okay. Knock it over. Knock it out. Knock it all the way off. Yep. Gotcha. So we need some. Uh, look like a nine sixteenth and a nine sixteenth wrench. Gotcha. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. That's just like a. <laughs> like a collar. Yep. You can take it loose here or there. Yeah. Well, I plan on working on this thing. It's not like this. Yes, sir. If this works, we pull it back up there to the fire station, yes, the sir. old fire station. Yes, sir. Pull it over, check everything. That way, they can get this road, and then we should be able to okay. probably take a little bit of, but we should be able to get it to the farm. Okay. I appreciate y'all. We got something. Put a red right here. Let me see if I can put mine on it, and then we just break that, break that little cotter pin. What size you got? Nine sixteenths, I think. There's nothing that can come down on the other No, sir. Thank you. You own the record, sir? Yes, sir. What was your name? Hal. Sir? Hal. Hal. Yes, sir. I was a farmer before I did all this. Really? Yeah. I grew up on a farm, sir. Then at Dad's Crossroads. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Moving. Yeah. You got 
to a pry bar, Mr. Wood. Back a little bit further, we'll take a budget scrap and kind of pull it up. No, that or not, if we just take it and take the other end out too, pull it all the way out. Yep, might be what we got to do, otherwise, it's gonna beat it all to pieces. Yeah. Ain't it? Well, the thing about it, you're not gonna be able to take the shaft probably out. We might be able to get enough angle to go up under the machine. Yeah. Just to tap it back some more where they put it out, we'll take a bunch of scrap and tie it up. You know, it ain't, it ain't going to hit it no more. Raise cows and, and hay, right? But I uh, I plant been planting corn and just picking deer corn, but I plant more and more and more than I can pick, and so I saved up and bought this. And this is the housewarming party here. <laughs> How'd you get into this business? Uh, well, found out you didn't want to farm them. No, I, I still miss the farming. Really? I really do. And it's been, I've been doing this, on this company 20 something years. My daddy sold out and I sold out. And we kind of did farm labor for a while. What'd y'all farm? Grow crops. Grow crops. Yes, yes sir. Or nothing, did it? Right there. Yeah, we go. Could be worse. Yes, sir. nothing tear nothing else up yes sir our goal we go up there to the fire station then go from there all right what's this for a gopro we got a little youtube channel oh, really? and video it and we'll if you let us we'll put it on there if not we'll we'll, are you we'll, on here? huh yeah, we'll put it on here. that's left up you this in your truck i leave that up you we use it for training more than anything right. got some new drivers that really? you don't do this stuff here every day <laughs> what you like mr wilbur what you like Safety chains. Uh, probably some dust up in that that tube there. Just, just the crack itself is so hot. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah, that actually good and strong. Real strong. <laughs> And my side's still good. The other side looked like it was welded.
can't fit meat and stuff in the road, especially towing that thing backwards. We stopped at the old fire station and checked all our hookups and got our measuring stick out. And we're at 13.4 is the height we're at. If everything's where it should be, we should be all right. But it's just slow going. But it's probably faster than that combine's ever ran. But as y'all can see, the wheelbase on that thing is so wide. Sitting in the driver's seat's one thing. Driving it, towing it backwards, it's a different story. Okay, viewers, hope you enjoyed the video. It's not every day you get to tow a combine backwards. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, share. And if you like our content and channel, please subscribe. And as always, stay safe out there, and we'll catch you on the next one.